Hi guys, this is me again, Mr. Goldgiver here, doing another tutorial video. This time I'll be showing you in three part video how to find offsets for PC games and how to script those offsets and then build a trainer in my final part three video of the series. Okay, so first this is how to find offsets on PC games with Cheat Engine that I have up here right now. First, you need to start your game, which I have up here already. Then you press um, process selector or process list, and then you just highlight your Lego one. For instance, that's what I'm doing Lego Star Wars Thunder. You just click on that one there and on your actual game XE. And then here you put in exact value if you know the value, like if I'm doing starts just for the uh, preview. Of this video um, you put in exact value then four bytes so put in I've got 999999 I just already pre-modded it before this video to make it easy for me to find an offset okay so once that's done just go for a scan okay and we'll come up like that then you can some studies Sorry about that. Bam, here I've got 1,099,000 stars. Okay, then you just press the windows. Oh, sorry. I've got, uh, well there it is there, so I don't have to type it in. And that's why I pre-modeled it, so it's easier to find, so I can hold this video up. Okay, now once you've found the offset, which this will be it here, uh, right click the address, then uh, click on find out what rights to this address press yes wait for it to come up here okay then what you need to do is go back again just get one start bam okay and pause it again then so it's a little fucking with me today okay now see how it's done this that's change one and then what you do is you just highlight it, then go to show it assembler, then up to tools, then auto assembler, then here just press template, put in cheat table framework code, then put in again code jet injection, and then press OK. And then you got all this code and whatnot. What now what you need to do is Highlight, no. highlight all that. No, sorry, forget that. I'm messing with code all day today. And my my brain's all squishy. So put in M O V up the top, right, and and then highlight that one, not the whole thing, just that in in the commas, including the commas, and space, then. Place that in there. Then what you need to do is put a comma, and then you need to put a hashtag. Then what you need to put is what you want to mod, mod it to. Excuse me. <coughs> so, oh, to show you guys it working, I'll just put it to nine nine nine. Um, and then that's pretty much it for that. Then what you need to do here is press right in front of here and put two forward slashes. Okay, so turn blue, that's deactivating the original code. Then you just go to execute, then yes, then okay, then go to file, assign to current sheet table, you will put it in here, then you can exit that, and that, and that, and then here's your script. Now what to test it, we do is just press that, and then go into and then you just, that is basically what you do, you collect the stud, it should go to 999, which I modded it to. ka -ching. There you go guys, that's how you make a script. That's how you make a script guys, um, okay, that's, um, it for part one of this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, um, please leave a like if you did. And yeah, I'll see you in uh, part two of this video. That is um, how to 
use that script and put it into a trainer and how to make it. So see you then guys.